Hi, I'm Will Bishop, and today we'll take a quick look at how you can easily start testing Miro's Web SDK. In order to start testing, all you need is a Miro account. If you don't already have one, you can set one up for free. You don't even need to set up a developer team. You can get started in under one minute from directly within a Miro board. Let's jump in. We can navigate to our Web SDK documentation at developers.miro.com. Here we'll find our quick start guide for the Web SDK. Following our documentation, the first step is to open up a Miro board. If you don't have one ready, you can simply create a new one to get started. Once we have our Miro board open, we'll want to utilize our web browser's developer tools or console. Depending on which browser you're using, these steps might vary slightly. I'm using Chrome, so we'll go to View, Developer, JavaScript Console. Once the console is open, we can clear out any existing console messages or warnings. At this point, the WebSDK framework is loaded into the Miro board by default. If we go back and reference our quick start guide, We'll see an example for creating a board item. Here we see that the miro.board.createShape method is provided as an example, with a few simple parameters like shape, type, and color. Let's go ahead and copy this code snippet and paste it into our browser console. If we hit enter, this item is created on our Miro board. But where did it get created? We can actually use another method from our SDK to locate our new item. From our quick start guide, let's copy the miro.board.viewport.zoom2 method into our console and pass the name of our item, shape we'll see that we've zoomed right into our new shape. Well, this is a very simple example, you'll find that our web SDK can do much more than just create shapes. You can create and manage many other items in board content. To see all the options available, you can check out our web SDK reference documentation. We also have detailed guides for more specific use cases. For example, adding drag and drop to your app. And one last helpful tip, if you want to quickly create your first Hello World app, you can run the npx create Miro app at latest, command from the command line, to start a basic project template, and one of several frameworks. That's all for now. It's your turn to test out all that the Miro Web SDK has to offer. You can find this and many more helpful resources on developers.miro.com. In addition to our YouTube channel, don't forget to check us out on our other social channels as well.